Kia and Hyundai car thefts have skyrocketed this year thanks to a bunch of teenagers on TikTok. In Los Angeles, there has been an 85% increase in thefts of Kia and Hyundai cars compared to last year. And the same goes for Chicago, where thefts of certain models are up over 800% in one month. And we have the Kia boys to thank for this, a group whose TikToks have garnered over 33 million views and counting. But the question is how? How did these teens find out about the security weakness in Kia and Hyundai cars? How are they stealing so many of them? And more importantly, what are Kia and Hyundai doing against this uproar? The answer to that question is not enough, but I'll get to that later in the video. Hello people of the internet, I'm Nico, shockingly antisocial and no longer a user of TikTok, and this is everything you need to know about Kia's cost cutting gone wrong. In all honesty, I don't know how this was discovered, but I certainly have some ideas. The most likely is just from watching a tutorial on how to remove and replace an ignition switch and then simply using that knowledge for the worse. Of course, it's possible some kids got curious about how to hotwire a car like in the movies and then discovered a new way to do it. But my guess is that it was just watching a tutorial video or maybe even learning about it from a mechanic. But what you probably want to know is what did they find in these tutorials that made them think that Kias and Hyundais were so easy to steal? The answer lies within the ignition. The spot where you stick your key is a security system in your car, and all the etchings on your key are supposed to keep anyone without your exact key from just getting in your car and starting it up. But what the thieves found was that they could just remove the key slot, therefore bypassing the security. Let me show you how. Quick disclaimer, do not steal a car or any personal belongings of another person. It is against the law and is a punishable crime. What they do is break into the car in whatever way they choose. They then proceed to remove the plastic behind the steering wheel here, and then they just remove the part where the key slots in. What they find behind the keyhole is this square metal piece, just right for putting a USB cable on and turning it over like a key. What they do after that, well, just see for yourself. Oh fuck, my car's up there. I don't want my car. You see people running for their life up there, dude? Did you see that? You'll note this stealing spree goes for Hyundais as well as Kias because they share the same parent company. And because of this, it's affecting a large range of vehicles for both brands. All Kias with a steel key and no immobilizer from 2012 to 2022, and Hyundais from 2016 to 2022 are all vulnerable to this theft tactic. I can't say why exactly Kia and Hyundai made the ignition assembly the way they did. I don't work at Kia or Hyundai and never have. What I can say though is that oftentimes when companies do something that gets them into trouble later on, it's normally as a result of trying to cut costs. And that ignition assembly certainly seems like it would be cheaper to make given its relatively simple structure. The same goes for why Kia and Hyundai didn't fit immobilizers as standard. It's certainly fair to assume it was done for monetary reasons. Just look at this used immobilizer and ignition assembly that I found on eBay. It's over $230. Now, if Kia and Hyundai didn't fit immobilizers to the hundreds of thousands of base model cars that they sold, then, well, just do the math. The point is, they saved themselves a lot of money. There's one thing that pisses me off more than the cost cutting, though. Kia's and Hyundai's response to the rise in thefts. Kia America came out recently and made a statement saying that they were concerned with the rise in vehicle thefts, that no vehicle can be made completely theft proof, and that all Kia vehicles meet or exceed federal motor vehicle safety standards. Okay, I'm not going to claim that Kia is evil or anything or that they don't care for their customers, but while they are offering steering locks at no cost to customers in highly affected areas, that courtesy has not been extended everywhere else in the US. So far, Kia is only offering this in Milwaukee, St. Louis, and Memphis, but the problem has spread much further than those cities. Kia also offers a solution in the form of a kill switch and an alarm, but it costs $170 without the labor. So as Kia and Hyundai aren't offering much help to customers, what can you do to keep your car from being stolen? Well, not much to be honest. You could go buy an aftermarket immobilizer, you could go buy a steering lock or even a dash cam, but none of these would guarantee that your car won't be stolen. Steering locks are around $40 and very easy to install, but an immobilizer would be the most effective, but it's also more difficult to install and more expensive. If you're considering buying a car and we're looking at a Kia or a Hyundai, then I suggest looking at some other options, or at least be absolutely certain that the car in question has a factory immobilizer. The other thing you could do if you're dead set on buying a Kia or a Hyundai with a steel key and no immobilizer is buying one with a manual transmission. 
Most people in the US don't know how to drive a manual, so while you may get some damages from the Kia boys trying to break in, chances are they won't successfully steal it. Kia and Hyundai don't seem to be coming to the rescue. They're probably using the money they saved from not fitting immobilizers and using cheap ignition assemblies for the legal costs they may yet incur. In the meantime, I don't recommend getting a Kia or a Hyundai, but if you must, for the love of everything, get one that has an immobilizer. Let me know in the comments below, do you know anyone that has had their Kia or Hyundai stolen? If you found this video interesting, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you can see more videos like this one. Until next time, people of the internet, peace out.